Hey, Double Ego, I hope you got a chance to make a cool parachute last week. And this week we're going to explore friction. Hmm, why is it that some things slide and some things don't? You've probably heard of friction before. It happens anytime two objects move against each other or try to move against each other, and because they're touching, it's harder to move them. There's an imposing force there. Our parachutes had friction when they moved against the air. The air resistance is a type of friction. Now, the cool thing about space is that there's no friction at all. So once something starts going in space, it'll just keep on going forever. The New Horizons space probe that sent back pictures from Pluto a couple years ago is still going. Eventually, it might run out of power to transmit pictures back to us, but it'll keep going until it crashes into something. Now, friction here on Earth is affected by three things. The weight of an object, the type of materials in the object and what it's sliding on, and the surface area, how much of it is touching whatever it's sliding on. Our parachutes were much bigger than the objects we were dropping, so they increased the surface area exposed to the air. That caused more friction, which is why they slowed down. But what about weight and the type of material? So here I have two different ramps. Uh, our main ramp is this one made out of cardboard. We stuck the cardboard box apart and kind of taped it to the stairs. You could use um, plastic or uh, maybe even a sheet, just whatever you have around, a wooden plank. And we also have this gymnastics mat. Now, we know that the type of material is going to affect how fast something goes. In other words, it will affect the amount of friction. So I want you guys to make a hypothesis. Here's our rock. We're going to send it down both these ramps. Which one do you think will be faster? Hmm, let's try it and find out. So here's the rock going down the cardboard. All right, will you pass me that rock, cameraman? Thanks. And now we'll try the gymnastics mat. Oh, I had trouble even getting started. Oh, uh, once it gets started, it kind of slides in. So obviously, this one had more friction than this one. Thing that can affect it is how steep our ramp is. So let's try it. This is the same steepness we had before. So take a look. Notice how fast this goes. Now we're going to make it less steep. Okay. And we'll see how fast it goes. That is a lot slower. If something is too steep, if there's too much friction, it might not even be able to go at all. Third thing that can affect friction is the weight. I have two sleds here made out of two poles, and I want them I put this three pound weight. So let's let them do a little race and we'll see which one is faster. Okay, ready on your mark, get set, go. Hmm. So the heavier ones seem like it had more friction. And you might get different results depending on the steepness of your ramp, but in this case, the weight increased the friction. Now, notice in these experiments, we changed just one thing at a time. We sent the same thing down the ramp, but we changed which ramp we used. We sent the same thing down the ramp, but we changed how steep the ramp is. So now, there's one more thing we haven't tried. We haven't tried sending different objects down a ramp. And this is your STEM challenge for today, so think about how you're going to do this. You need to build some kind of ramp. It doesn't have to be really big. And I want you to find eight things that you can send down your ramp. Uh, toys, blocks, stuffed animals, cars, pine cones, ice cubes, you know, whatever works. I Notice how I had a pillow at the bottom of my ramp? I'm going to do that to protect the things and also to protect the floor. So we're going to get eight things and then we're going to have a competition, a tournament to see which one is the fastest. Um, let me show you, we'll have a bracket uh, like they do for sports where there's eight different slots and the first two will compete and then the winner from those will go in this spot then the next two the winner will go in this spot and so on now the losers are going to go down here in this losers bracket so they will get another chance to show how fast they are and i'll have this bracket uh, linked to it so you can print it out we have a metal tin and, and a block of ice three two one <laughs> Okay, now we're going to try it five times and figure out which one is the winner after five times because it, there could be something random here. So ready, set, go! Ooh, that looked like a tie. Ready, set, go! I think the ice won that one. Ready, set, go! Oh, the ice won that one again! Okay, last one! Okay! The ice cube is the winner!
we've got ice is the winner. And we'll go down here and put the tin in the loser's bracket right here so we'll get another chance. Next, turtle and sled. <laughs> Okay, so it's up to the tin and the ice for our final round. Ready, set, go! Oh, ice, definitely. Ready, set, go! Tin. Ready, set, go! Ice. Ready, set, go! Ice. Does that make three out of five? That's three out of five. Sorry, Tin. Yeah. All right. Now we have our winner, the ice cube. Yay! Woo! Hey, now that was pretty fun. I want you guys to have as much fun as I just had. So go and try this experiment for yourself. And if you want, you can email me your results. For next week, try to have an empty cereal box or a paper plate and a little ball or marble, something small, because we're gonna make marble mazes. Till next time, stay safe, have fun, and keep building. Say farewell. Yeet.